widgets. All right, so you've just come into a whole bunch of motion picture film. Now what? So we have some 250D, some 500T, OJ, purple stuff, but we also have Remjet. Remjet is the black carbon backing found on the motion picture film. It requires an extra step in development, but not to worry, I'm gonna show you how to take care of the Remjet and how you can get started with motion picture film. Let's do it. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because when I bought my first couple hundred feet of motion picture film, I looked on the internet to find out, you know, what am I gonna do about this Remjet? And I found all the information, a lot of it conflicting, and I wasn't really sure what to think, what to believe. Did I need to buy something? Did I need to uh, get new equipment, this and that? Now, out of all the things that I researched and, and tried, um, I've come up with a process that seems to give me satisfying results, and, and I want to share that with you so you can get started with motion picture films. So to get started, let's take a look at some of the things that we're gonna need and, and let's get this thing going. Exposed motion picture film. This is 500T. A kitchen scale, one that does grams. A clean empty bottle. Sodium carbonate or washing powder, not to be confused with baking soda. A tiny sponge. And your desired photographic chemicals. Here's C41. So we're gonna develop this film in C41. I have my chemicals warming up back there. And while that's warming up, we will need to mix up the Remjet remover. So it's super easy. To get started, we're going to switch our scale to grams. Zero it out. Now we're gonna add 100 grams of this stuff. Oh, and this stuff's super cheap. I got it for five bucks for this whole big thing. And we only need 100 grams. And there we go, 102, that's fine. All right, so we have uh, about 100 grams of our washing powder and we are going to add this into our bottle along with some water and that will make one liter of Remjet remover. Plain, simple, that's it. Okay, so we've mixed up the Remjet remover. Here we go, it takes on a little bit of a yellow color. There we go. So this should be good for about 10 to 12 rolls about, uh, I usually, it's super cheap to make, so I usually mix up a new batch every dozen rolls or so. Uh, so we can toss that in with our chemicals. We want that to be the same temperature, so about 102 Fahrenheit for our C41 chemistry. And now with our film loaded up on the reel, we are ready to begin. So everything should now be at a cool 102 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're pretty much ready to rock. Now, if you know me, then you know I like to have a big supply of nice warm water ready to go, um, and Remjet removal is no exception. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to take our trusty, freshly mixed Remjet remover, and we're gonna pour it into our development tank. Now, it's only gonna be in there for a second or two, and then we're gonna pour it right back out. So just flash in the pan, and then it's right back into the bottle, and then we are going to start washing and shaking. That's the fun part. Um, but the important thing is that we're gonna pour this in and then immediately dump it right out, and then we start washing. So let's get to it, shall we? And we also want to make sure to have our lid nearby. Uh, I like to soften it up a little just so it's a nice, good seal on there. And this could get a little messy, so uh, be careful. Okay, cool. So let's start. So Remjet in. There we go. Just enough to cover the film. Swish it around a little bit and dump it right back out. Excellent, so with the hot water on hand nearby, go to fill it up, and then we shake it real good, ooh. And then we dump it out. So note the, uh, the color there. So there's only one roll in here, so it won't be too, uh, it, it won't be too black. But while you're doing this, you want to, I like to shake back and forth this way, but also that way. Apparently this lid sucks because it is spraying all over the place. Okay, and dump it. So it's barely, it's there's barely any black in there, but I like to give it one more little rinse just to make sure 
There we go, great. So now that we have effectively removed most of the Remjet, now you just carry on with your regular development cycle as, as you would. All right, and then we twirl with the wand. Now there's one final step to make sure your film is Remjet free. So let's do it, shall we? So open up the tank and uh, so I only have one roll in here, so I'm gonna take these out. So uh, of course I'm going to give it some photo flow, which is uh, helpful in making sure that it dries evenly and, uh, and we'll need some more of this uh, solution anyway. So we'll mix it up a little bit. Now this part is important. So when I take the film off of the reel, there's still going to be some residual remjet on here. You can see on my finger there. Um, so usually I'll just I'll just undo the reel, take the film out, but uh, to make sure it doesn't touch itself, um, I start to take the end out here, put on my film clip. Now I'll hang it and then I just unroll it from the reel this way. So that ensures that it doesn't touch itself and that the emulsion doesn't come into contact with that loose remjet, which will pretty much just ruin your photo. Um, so since this is so long, I'm going to actually cut this just so I can show everybody while I'm doing it. During quarantine, I've been doing mostly cat photos. So this is pretty much a whole roll of Felix. So not my most important work, but we still want to make sure it comes out looking good. So this one I will. Okay, good. Now that we have our film hung up to dry, now it is pretty much the, uh, the last step here. So you want to be careful with this. So. This is where we take our trusty sponge and we wet it with our water and photo flow solution. And now we're just going to run it down the base side of the film. And you can see here, there's quite a bit of uh, ramjet buildup and then give it another pass. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to get this really wet here. I usually do this in my bathtub, uh, so There we go. So this was the part that I had struggled with so much when I first started shooting motion picture film. Uh, but this process I found to be uh, the most consistent and with the most satisfying results. So um, there we go. And that one's pretty much clean. And you can see there are a lot of selfies and cat photos on there. So um, I hope once the sponge uh, kind of runs clear and you're not getting any more black backing, uh, then you're pretty much good to go. Then let your film dry. Uh, some people like to re-roll and stabilize. Uh, you know, that's up to you. Um, but here you are, your film should be remjet free and you are well on your way. Shooting motion picture film has been super fun for me. Uh, since getting my first 190 foot roll of Kodak Vision 3 500T, uh, I've gotten a lot better at color balancing, color correction, uh, shooting tungsten film in daylight uh, comes out hella blue. Uh, so you start to get a lot better at correcting it. Not only that, it is a pretty decent source of nice uh, color negative film that you can shoot rather cheaply once you start processing it yourself. So uh, if anybody's on the fence about getting started, I strongly encourage you to get in there. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Remjet can be a, a, a bit getting used to, but as I've shown you here, it's really easy once you get the hang of it and uh, and then you're, you're well on your way. So let me know how it goes in the comments and uh, until next time, see you later.